the reactants and products must be in their standard states. Now this makes a lot of sense because under standard conditions, every substance is in its standard state, right? So actually the equation we have written over here is wrong because whenever, whenever we, are, we are talking about standard enthalpy changes, we will have to include the state symbols. We will have to include the state symbols. So this will be 2Na solid plus 2HCl aqueous plus, uh, sorry, not plus anything. We'll have to include all state symbols. Remember that gives 2NaCl solid because the 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 states the this in its in the in the in the standard conditions uh, sodium chloride is a salt a solid salt plus H two gas hydrogen gas so we always have to include the state symbols when writing equations in when we are talking about enthalpy changes now the standard enthalpy change of formation this is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements are in their standard states under standard conditions one mole of a compound Form from form from its elements in its uh, in their standard states under standard conditions. For example, if we take H two plus two H two plus O two gives two H two O. Now this is wrong because there are two moles of water forming from the elements. So this will actually have to be H two plus half O two giving H two O. So this is this will be the equation for the standard enthalpy change of formation of water because you can see that the elements they are reacting to form one mole of water the compound. So the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard states under standard conditions right. So this is known as the standard enthalpy change of formation. Now, now there is actually one problem over here again we have to include the state symbols which will be H2 gas plus half because if you remember they have to be in their standard states so just remember always to put the standard uh, to put the state symbols now the enthalpy change that will accompany this reaction is called the standard enthalpy change of formation yeah now the standard enthalpy change of combustion this is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compa of a substance burns in excess oxygen under standard conditions so before, uh, before, actually I forgot to do one thing. Now, the uh, standard enthalpy change of formation is denoted by delta H naught F. And you should know that the standard enthalpy change of formation of elements, of elements themselves, is zero. Because elements cannot be formed, right? What is an element? An element is the simplest substance that exists. So elements cannot be formed from anything. And that's why the standard enthalpy change of formation of elements is zero. Of all elements is zero. So the standard enthalpy change of H2 is zero. The standard enthalpy change of O2 is zero. But the standard enthalpy change of H2O will not be zero because it's not an element. It's a compound, right? So that's what it, that's what it is. So standard enthalpy change of combustion. Now uh, the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance burns in excess oxygen under standard conditions, right? So let's say, uh, let's say this is... Um, where is my cursor? I can't find it. Just a second. Uh, yeah, here it is. So, the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance burns an excess oxygen under standard conditions. So, let's say carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. You can see that when carbon is burned with oxygen, we get carbon dioxide. Again, don't forget to put the state symbols. Now, this is the standard enthalpy change of combustion of carbon. So actually, if you see, now carbon is an element, oxygen is an element, and CO2 is a compound. So the enthalpy change that will, uh, will, that will accompany this reaction is both the standard enthalpy change of formation of carbon dioxide and the standard enthalpy change of combustion of carbon because carbon and oxygen are elements and CO2 is a compound and if we take for example CH4 plus O2 gives just I, I need some more space to do this so I'll erase everything on top
So this would be CH4 methane gas.